I'm an only child. I've never really been into like team sports. My dad was always into boxing and stuff like that. He didn't. He wasn't into like really anything else besides like combat stuff. So mm -hmm. I kind of got raised around mainly pure combat stuff. I, mean, I would try. I try like uh, karate here and there and stuff like that. But then uh, it wasn't until really uh, high school when I started wrestling. I have always just liked that feeling of it just being like one on one with somebody. You know what I mean? Um, and it's pretty much all on you. You know what I mean? It, you pretty much get what you put into it. Uh, wrestling, um, it definitely makes you tough. You know what I mean? Like uh, that's one. Uh, I say that's one of the, probably the toughest out of all the disciplines, just because of grinding your body like day in day out, smashing your bodies on the mat and like together, and you're using your whole entire body all the time. So, um, and like right now too, I like I coach. I coach here uh, with Daniel Cormier for the uh, kids wrestling. It's incredible to see these little, little dwarves almost, and they're just taking each other down. So, um, wrestling, like I said, um, it gives you that mentality of pushing, pushing your body. Uh, came to AKA when when my friend was coming over here, and I went during the midday one day. And uh, that was when the pros were training and stuff, and I was like, yeah, I want, I want to be a fighter one day, you know what I mean? And so they ended up putting me in there with uh, Paul Buantello and stuff like that, heavyweight. And, uh, man, we are going, and, like, he ended up punching me, and, like, I had borrowed, like, a headgear, and it was, like, one where it had, like, the, the frame things. The frame, like, hit my nose, and it, like, split my nose right here, so I'm, like, bleeding all over right here. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm like, I totally want to do this. <laughs> did, uh, did a lot of smokers. Basically, uh, I went like 14 and 2 with the smokers and stuff. And so then, um, I would, while I was doing that, I was, uh, they eventually, they was trained during the jiu-jitsu and uh, Fitch would come in too. And I would tell, you know what I mean? He knew that I wanted to fight. And he would always, I'd always work with him and always grapple and stuff. And so he was able to talk them into letting me come and uh, work out during the midday. And so, like I said, I did the smokers. I kept on training during the midday. Um, and then eventually they got me a fight. And I've been fighting ever since 2007. So I had my first uh, daughter when I was uh, 21. So I kind of had to grow up a little bit faster than uh, a lot of my other friends. I was the first one of all my friends, you know what I mean, to have a kid. Is it important to be a part of their life? Oh, yeah, totally. Like, uh, I feel like I'm so lucky, too. Like, I feel like I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. Like, uh, again, because right now where I'm at in my life where I get to train and teach and stuff, and not only that, I'm teaching kids, so it's like I get to bring my daughter to work with me, you know what I mean? Like, not that, not that many people get to say that, you know what I mean? They get to bring their kid to work with them and... Um, just being able to be flexible and be with them a lot more. It's definitely a positive thing because, you know, I see kids um, sometimes that are just really shy to me open up and it helps them open up, um, gives them confidence and stuff like that, makes them believe that, you know, they can take care of themselves. Um, lets them know that, you know, there's challenges sometimes and you just gotta keep pushing and, you know what I mean, overcome the challenges and stuff. Because, like, there's been times um, uh, where, like, I've lost my fights and stuff like that, but, you know what I mean, they see that I don't I don't give up, that I just stop. Like, they see that I, I keep training, I keep getting better, you know what I mean? Uh, and then when they see me win again, you know what I mean, they see that, oh, okay, you know what I mean? You didn't give up, now he's winning. So, for my daughter, like, I see, um, I just see it help her a lot, too, just the fact that she she's made so many friends, you know what I mean? Um, she likes, uh, like I said, she does the wrestling here, so she loves that team aspect of being on a wrestling team. Uh, she, she's like, uh, she's the like, youngest girl there, like, she, there's two older girls, but uh, she loves, like I said, just the, the team aspect and uh, pushing herself and be like all my teammates as my brothers, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's that bond. Um, of pushing each other every single day to their limit. You're sweating with this person, you're bleeding with them, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just something that just makes you so much closer. It's like for me, like I was watching it and I wanted to be a fighter back when when the guys were making shit. And like, you know what I mean? When they were just doing it for the love of it. And 
I, I don't know, I see as myself as that kind of guy, like, um, that's why I do it, because I, I love doing it, um, and then just the fact that, like I said, since that's, since that's global, and being here at AK, we have, like, we have people, like, from around the world coming here, like, all the time, we got people from Lithuania, like, Japan, uh, freaking Australia, we got guys all over, so it's, like, a global type of, uh, thing and it's funny because you'll get guys in a room where like they're all from different countries they don't speak like they don't know what each other is saying but just the fact that they're fighting and that they can kind of understand each other through that and it's just crazy that like like I said once again it's something so primal but yet it it makes it transcends languages you know?